Hey, beleza. My name is Eric Peoples, and I'm from Connecticut, United States. And it's so good to be here with my Dunamis friends, and uh, it's good to be with you. One of the things they asked me to share about, which I just, it's, it really encourages my heart, is it's talking about taking risks. I find in the Bible in Joshua chapter 1, and it's just a whole chapter, it's really cool, because it talks about the, a young leader who's called to take a risk. He's seen a lot of things. He's had a lot of experiences, but it finally comes to the day where it's time for him to lead, really when it's time for him to take responsibility. One of the things I've learned about taking responsibility is this, is that it's a lot of pressure. Sometimes it can be difficult. And when you begin to think about what God can do in your life, the reality is this, is he hasn't called you to anything that you won't succeed in. Truly, you can trust God. And one of the things that I think about even the Dunamis movement is this, is that you are young leaders who are doing things that no one else has ever done. It's not just about being in Brazil, but it's literally you hearing the voice of the Lord and going all over the world. Dunamis is a global movement. No matter how you look, look at it, the fact of the matter is the day will come where Dunamis is a name that's known throughout the world. And I believe you as young leaders, carriers of the sense of the destiny of God will be like Joshua, who's reminded in the first chapter, chapter one, to be courageous and go in the strength that you have. It actually says, be very courageous. What do we know about Joshua? One of the things that we know is that Joshua was a person of the presence of God. Joshua, it says when Moses left the tent, Joshua stayed. I wanna encourage you, when it seems like everyone else is going somewhere else, you stay and you pursue God. What else do we know about Joshua? We know that Joshua was spent time with wise people. He took risks. As a matter of fact, Joshua was one of the 12 uh, that went out into the land. He knew what it was like to face rejection. Remember, Joshua comes back, he has a great report. God said, God said guys, go and look at the, uh, the great uh, territory that I'm gonna give you. Joshua and Caleb came back with a great report. The other 10 said, no way, there's giants in the land. And what happened? The whole, the, the whole group of people wanted to kill them. Joshua knew what it was like to be rejected. Just like Joshua, I have faced rejection and so have you. But this is what we have to live in, and what we have to stand in. When you have a word from heaven that God has called you, you'll be able to stand. No matter where you're at, the workplace, school, family, you'll be able to know that the only requirement to see God do great things is being courageous. So I wanna encourage you today, be courageous, be faithful, be so courageous, begin to ask God for things that seem impossible. Joshua crossed the Red Sea with Moses. Moses had a staff, Joshua didn't have a staff. So for you, and you're looking around thinking to yourself, I don't have all those things other people have, but what you have is faith, and that, my friend, is more than enough. So you don't need a staff, like Joshua, crossing over in, in the river and when it was flood stage, guess what? The only thing they had was they had the national treasure. They literally had uh, what the, the children of Israel will consider the, something that was irreplaceable. God spoke to Joshua and said, let my presence proceed, go before you. I wanna encourage you this way. The Bible says that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. James chapter one, count all joy the triumph of your faith. Why? because it's building something in you. Listen, courageous leader. Listen, young person. Listen, leader who's a part of a dunamis family. This isn't just a club, it's a movement. It's about taking territory, it's about moving forward, and it's about allowing God to be first and foremost in your life. Because when the day comes, you'll be able to look around and you'll see the walls come crashing down. You'll see the red seas of society parted because you said yes to the very purpose of God. God bless you, have a great day. So good to see you. I can't wait to come back to Brazil because the fire and glory of God, the fogo de gloria, will change your life. Bless you.